Generic modality compression explained in five minutes or less. Well, you take any seven note scale. In this case, I'm going to use E Dorian. You delete the tonic of the scale and you're left with six notes. The remaining six notes are then subdivided into two three-part chords or arpeggios. And there's many different combinations. Uh, some are conventional, some are unconventional, and some are just really cool. And the, t the two combinations that I come across that are really nice are this uh, sort of incomplete minor seven off the fifth. Of course, I'm adding the tonic back in as a pedal tone. So the first chord is going to be like a B minor seven, no fifth. Then going to almost like an E minor six nine, which is actually a type of fourth chord. It's an augmented fourth. I really like is um, the minor F sharp minor off the second degree resolving to the G major off the flat third Combine those two. You can do the initial one. And once you establish something like that, then you can easily change scales. Uh, in this case, I'll change to melodic minor. Uh, that was in three minutes or less. Um, so let me know if you got anything out of that. Later.